Hello and welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior for Mercenaries. In the last episode, we did the convoy, and that was a, uh, a very annoying mission. I actually had to play it a couple times in order to have the convoy not kill itself immediately, because uh, escorting NPCs in these older type games is a little annoying. But we're here, we made it through, and we got a whole crap ton of salvage. So let's head into first the orbital view, and we're going to pick our next mission. Now you got offshore A, where we're going to have another set of offshore defense. Um, I think that the opponents just get a little bit stronger. It's the exact same map as before, but we also have industry raid, which seems kind of fun. So let's do that one. This sabotage contract is pretty straightforward. We need to drop their power grid and take out the objective buildings. The Black Cobra mercenaries defending the base have a mix of light and medium mechs in the area. A prolonged engagement could go badly for us. Use discretion in engaging them head on. Okay, so let's see here. This is Halloran 5 Industry Raid. Make a stealthy approach on the Tybor Industrial Facility and destroy the objective buildings. Intelligence reports that a company of Burr's Black Cobra mechs uh, mercenaries have been contracted for defense of this facility, so maintain an alert status on your approach. We can see that's our drop point here, and then uh, point Delta, Alpha, uh, Beta, and Gamma. I guess the Beta and Gamma are where we are supposed to kill the uh, the buildings, but let's go into the mech lab, and we... Whoa, okay. We got a lot of things to repair here. Our Hellhounds are damaged, our Owens are damaged as well. Let's, let's just set them all to repair, and we can see we have these new mechs. We got 50 ton Hellhounds. Unfortunately, they are both damaged, so we're not going to be able to use them in this mission. And one of our Chimeras is damaged as well. Is that one of mine, or is that one of the... Oh, it's one of the new ones. So I do have... I still have all of my Chimeras that I had set up. My Chimera 6, 7, 8, and 12, or... I no, I was in the Hellspawn, right. Because the Hellspawn is that little bit heavier. And I had the uh, the streaks and the medium lasers. Now the question is... What do I do with that? And also people want me to continue doing on some uh, some camo here. So we'll go Winter War for fun. Why not? Because people are like... It's just... It's it's funny. Some people are like... No, just do... Just do pink or... Like, this was, was the first episode, I was like, oh, no, no they're, they're pink, it's, you know, can't have that. And then people were like, oh, well, you could have pink. And then I was like, okay, well, we'll have pink. And then people were like, oh, why is it only pink? And it's just <laughs> kind of funny. But let's see, let's see. We'll go into the free market here. Oh, we can actually advance time. Right, we can do this. So if we wanted to take in our, uh, let me go here. Our Hellhounds are damaged, and the Chimera and the Owens here are crippled. So the, so, so the red takes two weeks, but the yellow takes only one week. So if we go into the free market here, and we choose to go forward a week, we, we'll pay $600,000, but we'll have access to our Hellhounds. Oh, that's, th that's worth it. We'll do that. So now we have these Hellhounds. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these two Owens, sell them off. And hmm? Come on, sell the Owens. There we go. We'll take a look at the chassis that are available. There's a bushwhacker. That's a pretty good chassis to get. What else we got? An Uziel. An Uller. We're, we're looking for those mediums now. Let's see. Any of these ones down here? Are good mediums? Mm, doesn't look like it. Just all lights. But if we wanted to or needed to, we could pick up an Uzil. But I think we're going to get enough on our salvaging coming up soon. So we're just going to pick up some weapons. Of course, pick up all of the clan versions as possible. I don't really need the small laser. Get the med pulses. And possibly some, maybe some lerms. You never know when lerms would be useful. And def ooh, streak SRMs. Not, not, streak, streak MRMs, wow. And also, streak SRMs definitely pick these up. They are very useful in these uh, some lower weight fights to put some good damage out. We'll buy those weapon systems and we'll, we'll equip what we can here. So, I am going to, uh, let's see. We're going to go Hellhound, Hellhound, 
Hell Spawn Chimera. So we'll use our base level Chimera 6. And we'll, we'll, well, this is the one we will change eventually, but we're just going to strip down all of our Chimeras just so we have all these weapons available to equip our Hellhounds with, because I believe the Hellhounds come without any weapon ray on them, which is unfortunate. But yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hellhound, Winter War, perfect to start with. Now let's go into here. We'll max out that armor. It's very low on the legs, seemingly. But now what do we got? We've got... We've got Omnipods in the arms, Missiles in the left torso, and Energy and Ballistics in the right torso. Uh, I have the LBX-10. I definitely want to use that for myself. We'll give that another ton of ammunition. Then I think I might just go LBX and just a bunch of medium lasers. And we're going to go regular IS lasers just because we don't have enough clan meds to, uh, to do things here. But we're going to see what our heat efficiency is like. And then maybe we're going to trade things out here. Oh, we're going to get ECM, definitely. We're going to get laser anti-missile system. Uh, we could uh, speed this mech up a little bit if we wanted to. And can we shave a half ton somewhere? If we shave a half ton from the legs here, we get that extra ton to do something with. And we'll, we'll swap out some of these med lasers with clan ones until we start getting a heat efficiency problem and then we'll put it back into heat sinks that works ah or should i just ah we'll just do all those yeah that'll be fine we will have that as our main mech now the next hellhound which we'll have to get into winter war as well give it ecm give it lams I don't think we need to speed it up any. Max that armor. And let's see what we can do here. We could give this the ER large lasers from the clans. But we could also make this thing into some sort of devastating uh, short range firepower. Where's my hell spawn? Yes, I want to save that for now. We are going to use the hell spawn. The question is, is what we're going to use it with. So... We're going to go to Hellhound, and I think I'm going to make this guy into some crazy powerful uh, short-range streaker. Oh, these are only um, direct-fire Omnipods. Right. I, I was going to put in a whole bunch of streaks, but that is not going to work. Okay, let's just put in some lasers. Give him a large laser there, and maybe the four meds. We'll see what his heat efficiency is like. There we go. We still have nine tons, so we can put some more into this, and then maybe throw in a streak six for a good measure. Give it that extra ton there, and then stri strip a half ton out of the legs like we've done before. And then heat efficiency is probably okay. I don't think that the SRM-6 needs another ton there, so we'll do this, this, put that ER large on a separate firing so that will be our, our one of our allies in the Hellhound. Now for the Hellspawn here, we will put mass streak fours. Oh yes, oh mass streak fours. This thing is gonna kick total ass. Drop some of those heat sinks because we don't need them. We'll put in a couple med lasers. And yeah, this thing will be just be able to get up nice and close and just devastate people. Which will be amazing. Maybe slow it down a little bit because it doesn't need to go that quickly compared to our uh, our hellhounds that we have. And what is this relative? What does this rel heat efficiency mean? Relative heat efficiency factors the heat capacity, the overall heat efficiency of the mech. Oh, I don't know. It's at 100, but the heat efficiency is at 72 points think this mech may be fine with this. We could take some extra ammo for those streak fours, but I don't think it needs them. But we'll put them all on right click. Oh man, this mech might, might even be fun to run. I we'll probably don't need to do a lot of mech labbing in the future after we do this big overhaul, getting into these hellhounds. 
So Hellhound, Hellhound, Hellspawn, and then we'll do Chimera 6. Or should I even? I could just get rid of these Chimeras, I mean. I'll get rid of the majority of them. Uh, 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 ugh, no, we're not advancing time. Yeah, let's get rid of all but one Chimera. Because we don't need them. We can just make that 16 mil back. And we don't need to pay for them. Oh, s seemingly one of that Chimeras got repaired? Huh. Yeah, just get rid, of get rid of another one then. Because I can always pick up a Bushwhacker or that Ozeal. But I believe I'm going to get some uh, salvage out of this next mission. So I don't want to spend all my money on buying stuff that I might not actually need. So let us equip this last Chimera. We have... Uh, what do we have for this? Pop into that free market again. What is there for weaponry that I missed? There's these Streak MRMs. I want to give these a try. See how they work. So we'll pick up all the clan versions. And no clan ballistics, which sucks. Which we'll buy those. Because... These MRMs. Looks like they can do some serious damage. So we're going to go with this MRM 30. And maxed armored already. It's already got jump jets. We'll give it an LAMS for fun. We'll strip a little bit off of its legs here to give us that round ton and what else a ballistic maybe or give it a nice energy weapon an er large laser or maybe just a normal laser maybe a, a couple med pulse i don't know this is where uh figuring out the build is interesting maybe just a couple med pulse and it's got the mrm 30 streak We'll see how this guy per performs. I think this uh, Streak MRM-30 might be a good firepower for him. So we are in Hellhound 11, then we got Hellhound 15, then Hellspawn 10, and Hannibal will go in Chimera 8. Let's get into the fight here and see how we do. Initial recon of the base spotted a hole in the turret defense grid north of the complex and east of your current position. If you head directly to Nav Point Alpha, you should get a good approach on the base without triggering their defenses. Roger, Control. Is Bird Dog still in the area? Unknown. At least one of the defending mechs has a Beagle active probe and has been on perimeter patrol in their vicinity. Bird Dog went power down and radio silence an hour ago. Copy. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay, Spectre Lance. Form up on me and give a ready report. Ready up. This is Rufus. Ready up. This is Hannibal. Ready up. Intel reports we're up against Burr's Black Cobras. They're a hodgepodge merc unit with a couple of mixed, medium, and heavy lances. All reports indicate only their medium assets are in the area, but you never know. Stay sharp. Close up and form on me. Roger, Spectre. Roger. Copy. Okay. So we're going to avoid those Calliope turrets. We're going to destroy the generator at Beta. In the large factory at Beta. The factory at Gamma. And a fuel somewhere else. From Alpha, you should be able to take out their main generator and drop their turret grid. All right. The remaining objective buildings are in the vicinity of Beta and Gamma. You may need to move down into the base to target them all. I don't think I have the range here, so we're going to have to move in until we get to our medium lasers in range. Then we'll take on the generator. Hopefully none of these turrets pay, any, pay me any heed as I take them out. Because there is a lot of turrets in our area. As turrets well as some offline. tanks. Alright everyone, attack your nearest target. Attack your closest target. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Roger. Yeah, this LB-20 just kills things. Black Cobra medium lance. This is Lieutenant Dunman of the Black Cobra. I said LB-20. I mean LB-10. Stand down and we'll let you leave with your mechs. Ha! We'll leave with our mechs, all right. And yours, strapped to a salvage track. Commander, we don't have to take out the Black Cobras on this run. All right, what do we got coming in? Chimera. And exit the mission area. Roger, control. Everybody, focus on that Chimera. Mission parameters. Roger, lead. Roger, lead. Let's go Roger, get them. Excellent. I will salvage your mechs and they will turn into liquid sea bills in my accounts. Oh, so much damage being done. Oh, nice. Although Hannibal took a little bit of damage there. 
Hopefully he's not uh, damaged at the end of the mission. Oh, damn, the guy fell over. We just hit him so goddamn hard. He collapsed. Excellent. Ooh, bushwhackers. Yay. I love bushwhackers. I'm going to leg this guy. See if we can uh, increase our chances at getting his salvage. Come on, bushwhacker. Stay still for me. There we go. Leg is crit. Almost destroyed. There, it's destroyed. Now for the other one. It's so hard to shit these legs. Especially when the lasers aren't uh, hit scan like they are in MechWarrior Online. I can't just sweep the leg. I have to actually hit it. We took him out through the leg. Alright, next one. There's a bushwhacker again. Come on. He's not even paying attention to me. Oh, I hit the wreck of that tank there. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, that was one of the factories I needed to blow up anyway. <laughs> Getting mission objectives done uh, while I'm just uh, killing enemy mechs. Ah, oh, I'm missing these legs. With these, uh, with these lasers being all pinpoint front-loaded, it's actually kind of difficult to hit legs. You have to Hold the trigger right as your crosshair crosses them. Come on, die, you little bugger. They're so low. Okay, I'm just gonna walk up and take it out. There, he's down. Excellent! Black Cobra mechs have been dispatched. And only one that got damaged was Hannibal, really. So now we shall drop some building as fast as we can. This is the, uh... The factory at Gamma. Excellent. Alright, now fuel depot around here. There's a station there, so let's check over this direction a bit. Fuel station, fuel Oh hey, fuel. NASA. Boom. Spectre reporting mission successful. Let's get a salvage team in here to pick up mechs and strip those turrets. Affirmative, sir. Salvage is en route. Oh, I super hope that we get one of those blackjacks. That would be great. No, blackjacks. I can't even speak of the right mech. Bushwhacker! Yes! The corporate VP wanted me to yes. pass on a message. Quote, it's nice to see mercenaries who can get the job done. It's nice to see mercenaries that can get the job done. And thankfully the Chimera was not uh, damaged and didn't, doesn't have to be repaired. But it means I can swap out that Chimera with a bushwhacker. It's now we're at all sort of heavier mediums. Ah. Just wonderful. That'll be it for this episode of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.